Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarat and uh, in today's video, or in this video rather, uh, I'm gonna do a tarot reading for uh, Virgo, month of November 2022nd, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and as well Virgo Rising. So uh, if you do like the content of the channel, uh, leave a like and subscribe for it, uh, so you do not miss me going live. And uh, if you do wish uh, to uh, have a personal tarot reading with me, you can uh, always go to my website, um, which link you can find in the description uh, down below. So with that said, let me just uh, do the cut and uh, see what we have. So Virgo, for you, the first card is going to be the Nine of Swords. Uh, followed by the second card of uh, the Lovers. Moving on next, uh, we do have uh, the Page of Wands. And uh, finally, for you, the primary card, uh, the final primary card, that's going to be the Page of uh, Swords. Uh, right, so these main cards is what you do have, and uh, at least the first half of the month is going to be, um, for the lack of a better word, I'm going to say determined. What I mean is that the first half of the month is going to pretty much determine probably the rest of your, uh, the rest of your year, because you're going to have a lot of choices and decisions generally to make. Some of them are going to be about important stuff that you are going to find yourself being very well concerned about. Now, the second half of the month is going to be more social than anything else. You are going to have a couple of interactions that is going to be the primary aspect of the second half of your month. Uh, you have an interaction with a positive person and uh, I don't know if the second one, Page of Swords, is going to be a positive interaction or not. We're going to see that when I do start drawing the uh, additional cards. But just to tell you, if you do play out your cards at the first half of the month correctly, uh, you are bound to resolve a lot of your issues and to make your life way more harmonious than what it is as you do enter into the month of November. So starting up here, the month with the Nine of uh, Swords, the catalyst is going to be the Three of Cups. And here we can see why are your concerns. It is because the results are just not coming. Or if they are coming, they're not as big as you hoped those results to be. Whether results about actions you made in your personal life or into your business or into your career, it is just at the start of the month you are going to find yourself being afraid that either your efforts are all for nothing or um, simply things are not going to work out at all, right? And uh, that, for some of you, is going to be really bothersome because some of you may have invested less, other may have invested everything they have into it, and now seeing that, you know, those, uh, those things that they have anticipated to accomplish through their investments, whether investments of time or of efforts or God forbid money, are not coming back, at least not at the start of the month, okay? So, First things first, what do you need to know? It is that uh, successful results are very relative. Now, there will be something that you are to be assessed or judged. I don't know how to put it into words. In other words, other people will determine how good your results are. And it doesn't look like that you're going to see eye to eye with them. So it's not like you are going to be unhappy of your work. It's more like, for example, your boss are going to be unhappy of the results of your work. And that will concern you. It's not like you may not be um, displeased with how much you try to make your partner or your significant one happy. It may be that your significant one doesn't see that you know, you, you put the, 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 the maximum efforts you could, right? So it is just, you know, you and the one that it is actually assessing your results are not going to see eye to eye. 
And that is going to be the cause of uh, the primary cause of concern. So what is going to be the result of this cause of concern? Well, in personal life, friendships, relationships, you may start getting afraid that these things are going to end in a sense of that our friendships may end, uh, love life may end in a sense of, you know, someone to leave you uh, or ghost you, even a more uh, radical action here. <clears throat> or simply, you know, things to get worse and worse, to, to deteriorate situations, to deteriorate business or a... Uh, uh, or a relationship. Another thing uh, which is more strictly about a love life here at the start of the month, it is that this sense, whether in you or in the person that you are uh, in love with or you both are in love with, it, it's more prominent for when two people were in love with. In fact, this is the only atmosphere that that interpretation can happen. So there are going to be that sense which is arising that one loves the other more than what the other loves the one, right? And that sense may arise in you or that sense or other like impression. It's not even a sense. It's more like an, an impression may rise with uh, within the other person as well and that also is going to be a cause of concern and so what do you do with those concerns well the second card it's uh, the lovers and the accompanied card it is the six of swords okay so those two cards well it's pretty simple from these two um you will have the urge or uh, how can i put it into words the urge or the um the push to do something different, okay? Uh, with those two cards, pretty much you are gonna know, have a pretty good idea, which is gonna be the right idea, you know, what kind of an actions you gotta undertake in order to prove the other party wrong, to prove your significant one wrong, that you are not doing anything you can to make the relationship harmonious, or to prove your boss uh, wrong, that you are doing to the best of your abilities, and in fact, that is the best you can do, you know, to prove, for example, your friends, that you are not just only thinking about yourself, but you do uh, cherish that friendship, and so on and so forth, so you're going to know what has to be done in order those things to be established the question is are you going to do it or not and that is exactly where uh, your choice lies okay there is a that carries on a good or rather like a pleasant and unpleasant ending that both are going to be true okay you cannot avoid neither of them the pleasant one it is that either way you are going to be okay with it for according to these cards. Why? Well, because you're pretty much going to make your peace with the situation. So if you choose not to indulge the other party of, um, you know, with, uh, with their expectations, you are going to be okay with that towards the middle of the month, fully resigned about what is going to be the outcome, you know, end of relationship, uh, being laid off uh, or a um, severance of a friendship. Uh, if you do decide to indulge them with what they are uh, expecting you from, then uh, you're also going to be okay with it, knowing that this is going to request that this is going to be a crossing of a line in a sense of that you got to go against yourself you got to go against your code of conduct you got to go against your beliefs and so on and so forth basically at the end of the month uh, at the middle of the month i'm sorry not the end but the middle of the month you will stand in front of that decision are you going to do uh, what you want to do or are you going to do what you have to do now you liberal uh, virgo different or rather like every single one of you is going to make their own choice which is going to be different from someone else as from another virgo okay but you definitely can uh, unite here you know the masses under the common cause or in other words you definitely can so to speak um i i hate using that impression but for the lack of better one prove yourself that what you are doing it it's basically the best possible and the best you can now in either way 
and the problem of the situation is going to be resolved. The resolution though is going to be, like I said, a different. And either way, like I said, you are going to be okay with, uh, with, with how the situation develops and uh, as well you are going to be harmonious with, uh, with how your life is going to be set up uh, from there on moving, uh, moving forward. And uh, after that, a person shows up in your life which is going to be the page of uh, cups Ooh, it's uh the catalyst to the page of page of wands i'm sorry uh the catalyst to the page of wands three of wands uh those two cards so it looks like that either you do have a history with that individual or you are basically very much alike not as a uh physical uh physical properties okay but in a way you think in a way you act in a way you basically tackle with life, its tasks, uh, how you tackle with your career, friendship, so on and so forth. So you're going to be very, very much alike or you do have a lot of history in between each other. And uh, whichever the case, whether you do have a lot in common or you do have a history, these, these things are going to happen to be a very solid foundation that you both can step on. Uh, or rather like uh, uh, they are going to happen to be a very well established patterns that you both can step on and uh, what comes out of it I can only speculate but what is more prominent it is that say one evening that you have a you have a, a a mug of beer or you had grabbed a uh, a cup of coffee one of you say to the other hey man um since we now we uh, reconciled or we found each other, what do you say if we do that? And that, uh, it's something crazy, or at least it sounded crazy up until this moment. That was an idea of yours, all right? That was some kind of a thought you had. But before the appearance of that individual, it kind of sounded silly. It sounded crazy. You, you, you didn't even dare to dream that someone is going to see it that way, that someone is going to be okay with that thing you want to do. And uh, basically, that's going to be a brand new experience. In fact, with that page of wands, you can expect or you should be open for anything new because they are going to bring a lot of a variety in your life. Now, those of you who are single, maybe you want to know, can things happen in between you and the Page of Wands? They can, but these cards we have, not exactly the great foundation that to happen. What I would like to see, it's a sword card instead of a wand card that is catalyzing the Page of Wands. Uh, having the wand card there, it kind of puts more prominence over a passionate and physical interaction, uh, which is prone to burn out very, very quickly. Uh, in any case, should you decide to give it a go, a few advices how to handle Page of Wands. Uh, Page of Wands, it's mesmerized by anything that it is spontaneous, right? So try to go along with the flow. Instead of having a, a plan, instead of having a schedule, you know, instead of um, having, how can I put it into lists, uh, how can I put it into words, to-go list, so to speak. Another thing about the Page of Wands, it is that they are very um, emotionally fragile, even if they don't give it a, a, an impression of such. So be mindful what's, uh, what you say, because the worst into their character it is that when you say something wrong, they kind of like, uh, they, they give an impression that they don't just give a dime about it. They don't care what you said, but they do. And uh, the thing is that the whole, that these saying wrongs they do pile up and, and stack up and at some point it's kind of like that bubble bursts and that is the point of no return okay so it's very important here to whenever you kind of like sense or see that the page of wands is feeling uncomfortable talk to them ask them why that's the case it may take a little bit of an effort to kind of like uh make them spill the beans but it will worth it at the end of 
day. Business-wise, fantastic interaction. I mean, with them, I, I think that you can accomplish and achieve uh, a lot as a business cooperation, as a teamwork, and so on and so forth. Just be open to their ideas and as well to their suggestions. And uh, after you now interacted with the page of ones, another one shows up, which is going to be the page of uh, sorts. And the catalyst to the page of sorts, it is uh, the Knight of Wands. So we do have these two now. That could be another person who is joining the team. Okay. Because with the Knight of Wands being there, uh, it seems that when the page see you and that other page, they see what you are doing very interesting to them. And they definitely have what to add up to it. Okay. Uh, so I do believe that uh, the interaction in between you and the page of uh, wants is going to be more business than uh, than personal relationship. Even if it is personal relationship, there is going to be a friendship or a business there that the page of swords can lash into. The page of swords can lash into, okay, and attach itself to it. So. Page of Swords is going to prove itself to be very, very enterprising individual, someone who has a very unique thought. We're not talking about ideas, we are talking about thoughts. Okay, very unique thoughts about things, very unique opinions about uh, situations around. And it just is going to be, how can I put it into words? Uh, together, you're going to be a, a the hero team uh, in a sense of that nobody is going to be, no team or no working force or no friendship is going to be like you are going to be in between three of you, okay? It's just uh, all the time you're going to have many, many things to do uh, through the enterprising nature of the Page of Swords through the um, openness of the page of wands and so on uh, and so forth. Amazing working force. It is what you can, uh, it's what you can craft towards, uh, towards the end of the month. Uh, a few advices about the page of swords. Don't argue with them. You will never going to be able to convince them into your point of view. Best thing you can do whenever an argument arises is just to ignore them that that's literally the best you can do that page of swords is going to happen to be a very very unexpected source of help in fact you are going to be amazed how many things that person can do and uh, how many things that person is competent of another thing very tenacious with having that catalyst to them uh, once they set a goal, they are willing to go to the very end, no matter the cost, no matter what. And also, they don't have many friends, okay, but the friends they have are the friends that anyone can rely on. Uh, and I don't know, I don't want to say it that way, but one can count themselves lucky having such a friend like that Page of Swords being catalyzed with the Knight of Wands. Now here we do, if, if a relationship starts to arise in between you and the Page of Swords, like intimate one, at least for the time being, as these cards are staged, friends with benefits the most, okay? If not one, uh, one night stand here, okay? So keep that in mind. And uh, with that said, guys, uh, that was your uh, monthly tarot reading, Virgo. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it. And we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.